is the Benz Brunani woman is Baby boys, baby girls, you need to hear this Baby sit down, sit down, receive this realness Make sure your cup's ready for the tea we are go sip it here Hard time scrolling for your long truths You might learn something you never know Could let you find, and she's one of a kind Don't say you mind, say you mind Extra content, babies. Extra content, babies. Um, I apologize in advance if you're seeing this late because it's not going to be up at your usual time. But, you know, I, I did everything to get here to record this episode so you don't lose an episode since there's only 10 weeks left. <laughs> um, just an FYI for you people. I've decided that I'm going to release the um, affirmation cards on the 1st of October. So you will have access to them to be able to purchase them at midnight, at midnight on the 1st of October. Then I'm going to um, let everyone know with a link, um, everyone else know with a link from like 9 a.m. or 12 p.m. So I'll give you like 12 hours. So I'll let everyone know from 12 noon. On the 1st of October Because it's Nigerian independence And big up Nigeria man For all of its faults Like we've been independent for a minute And I just thought Why leave it to the 5th of October Have it on the 1st of October Why you still have mornings um, And then you're not cussing me out Because you're like Well why didn't you really release it earlier So now it's being released earlier Um so yeah, so you'll have access to it from midnight on the 1st of October Everyone else will have access to be able to buy them from um, noon on the 1st of October I will just tell you from now, patrons, my lovely patrons Like I said, yep, yeah, I ship it worldwide But also remember that I've only made a hundred of them So when they are gone, they are gone Nobody message me, do not cry, do not beg Don't cry, don't beg If they're gone, they're gone So yeah, keep that in mind Anyway, back to the tarot then so, um, as I said, the tarot card that we got for this week was the Queen of Coins Talking about the steady stream of abundance that's around you right now Or is coming your way, but it's going to come more um, easily if you're giving more you give more to receive more Not that anyone's saying that you give to receive But you should just be aware that if you want to receive more You should give more And then the card straight after that um, At the bottom of the deck was the ace of coins Saying that this is an like this is literally your moment This is your time to um, have the financial abundance That you've been wanting for so so long Because I know that a lot of people have been struggling Whether you're students or whatever You've been really really trying to make ends meet But now you've got a new job Now things are going your way, you're doing bits, you're going to really, really benefit from all of the things that are happening right now. And the next, all of this are coins, by the way, which is really, really scary. But I feel like this card also was here for a reason, the two of coins. So the two of pentacles means that you're, you're in two minds. You're trying to juggle two, you're in two minds about, about whether you trust the opportunity that is currently ahead of you. I'm here to tell you that you should trust the opportunity that's ahead of you because you need it. You've wanted it for so long and it might not look the way that you wanted it to, but trust it. You can make the most of it. That's why you are number one. You can make the most of what you have. You are the queen of coins. You can make the most out of anything. So trust in that abundance. Trust in what's around you now. Use it, use it now because all of these things don't last forever We've got it today, we haven't got it tomorrow You have to make hay while the sun is out Isn't that what they say? That's what you need to do, make hay, make hay ASAP, ASAP Rocky Anyway, I didn't say in the main content because I completely forgot What I wanted to talk about today was the fact that um, Sajid Navid S S Savid, what's his name? Sajid Na Javid, let me see, Savid I hate his name Sajid Javid Yeah, I think that's his name Sajid Javid Yeah, Sajid Javid The Home Secretary Yeah I can't stand him Or is it the foreign No, he's he's the Home Office The, the head of the Home Office That dickhead Yeah Um, Let me just check his actual title Because I hate him with all of my heart Basically um, It has been said That Um Anybody of the Windrush generation who had any criminal, who had a criminal record will not be given British citizenship. 
yeah, okay, that's it. Um, Home Secretary, I was right. Fool, look at his bald head, looking like a fucking xenophobic egg prick. Um, so he's announced that, yeah, if anyone of the Windrush generation had a has a criminal record, no matter how um, minute, they will not be granted British citizenship. And I just think that that's fucked because isn't the whole point of this whole Windrush scandal that they are British citizens in the first place? So you can't now say, oh yeah, you can be, but you can't be. And it's just those kind of, you know, those loopholes that that racist fuckers really, really look for in order to deny you the things that are rightfully yours. Like, they're now saying that these people need to go and be able to provide proof for the fact that they are citizens. But motherfucker, we just said that they don't have proof because you burn all the fucking things. Theresa May burn all of the things. Like, what's wrong with you? It's like a goose chase. It's a wild goose chase that they know that black people are not going to come out better for. They know that you actually can't provide these things and that's why they're doing them. And it's absolutely fucking horrible. You don't take a, 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 a white person's citizenship away when they've committed the worst of crimes. But you're now denying the, um, these people of the Windrush generation You're denying them their citizenship Which is already theirs Because you invited them over here It's already theirs You're now saying, no, no, actually you can't have it Because you committed a crime So we can't give you uh, citizenship You can't take away what's already mine like, that's not how it works at all. But they're looking for any excuse. And I think that it's disgusting that they're using a brown face like Sajid Javid to um to push these um push this agenda forward. And even when I was on the BBC Breakfast News and then the um what's it, Naga or whatever, why are brown people so happy to be used as um, as the mouthpieces of racism? Why are they so happy to be used as white pe uh, mouthpieces of white supremacy? Like why do that to yourself? And the thing is, he thinks that he's really helping his career now, but he's really, really not. And he's, he will suffer. He will suffer. And I don't know how any, um, if any of you have relatives who are of that Windrush generation and who have been told recently that actually, no, you're not going to be able to become a citizen because we saw that you did this all the way in 1982. But I'd love to hear your thoughts um, Only if you want to share Because I'm sure it must be traumatic And really, really heart-wrenching But if you wanted to share If you wanted me to, you know um, Promote or amplify something Please do let me know Because I read that And I felt sick to my stomach And I just thought What more can they do To justify their citizenship To justify their humanity To justify the fact that They came to this country To make this country better And now that this country Thinks that they are better They're now trying to get rid of everyone And that's why Brexit it will fail and that's why Theresa May and all of these men they won't get a good deal because they don't know how to treat people fairly in the first place so if the EU isn't treating them fairly either well uh, uh, what goes around comes around and that's as far as I'm concerned but um yeah that's it for this week I'm looking forward to releasing the affirmation cards um and I'm looking forward to next week's episode but honestly thank you for supporting me you're the reason I managed to make it into this studio dead late to record this because I'm just so grateful for all of your support and I wish you all a wonderful week peace it's the Benz Brunani woman is Baby boys, baby girls, you need to hear this Baby sit down, sit down, receive this realness Make sure your cup's ready for the tea we are go sip it yo Hard time scrolling for your long shorts You might learn something you never know Could let you find And she's one of a kind Don't say you mind, say you mind